Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of Transformer Facts Friday. This is the second weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that are going on in the world of Transformers, and let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel, and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Russ. Once again, thanks to everybody who joined me in the live earlier on, where we watched the full fan stream um, together. It was good. Um, I'm going to briefly just touch on it. I'm not going to go too much. The reason why I haven't done a reaction video is A, because I did the live, and and B, because this is what was revealed. So all of these, as, as I say, we already know, we've already seen, um, and pretty much I think Wheeljack has sold out everywhere already. So it was just, for those of people who are expecting to see Swoop, etc. it was exactly what they said it would be. It was Legacy United Wave 2. So the core class was Cheetor, obviously, then the main line figures. So the deluxes were Shard, Chromius, the two Fembots, which is great. Um, and of course gears then we had the voyager class we had uh, beast war silverbolt uh, starscream which i was really i couldn't believe in that they were quite surprised themselves in when they said it that it's a partial from the tetrajet so a lot of the joints it said are the same so that's going to be quite interesting when we get that in hand i've already mentioned wheeljack he's a target exclusive in the uk there is in demand um and there's a few in hasbro pulse and of course the leader class was sandstorm but we've already seen all of them um, and as I say, they're up for pre-orders. Some of them are available in lots of different countries around the world. So it, it's good, but I know we all wanted to see some things that we hadn't seen yet. So hopefully next week, I believe the swoop reveal is going to be at WonderCon or WonderFest, whatever it's called. Obviously, I don't know for an absolute fact, but that seems to be what the general consensus is. Right, onto some of the rest of the news. It's getting close to Easter, and I haven't seen these in my shops yet anywhere, but there are Transformers Easter eggs. So we've got Earthspark ones with the mug, and we've got ones aimed for the adults as well. Transformers 40 years with Optimus Prime on it. So there's the artwork. It will be really interesting. I know, obviously, it just seems they seem to do that now. They aim at the, the younger viewers, and then they aim straight at people, as I say, oh, our sort of age. Um, it's just crazy how much, obviously, that um, a lot of the Transformers and toys in general now are aimed at older collectors. This is something, again, it's another collaboration. It's something that I didn't, I'm going to read it to you. Uh, I think it's because we don't have these particular uh, garages in the UK. So it's celebrating a 40th anniversary with, I'm just going to read it out to you. So it's a, so it's a collaboration with buying Yokohama uh, tyres. Tournamonti tyres, it says here. So Monroe guests can roll out. So I think it's something to do with Monroe garages. Again, we don't have any of these in the UK. So I'm sorry if I'm messing this up, guys. I'm just letting you guys know this. That they're basically doing $40 back on instantly. $40 off based when you purchase four of the tyres. And it's valid, valid at Monroe by the looks of it. If you know what that is, Monroe guests, it's worthwhile having a look at. I don't know what it's got to do with Transformers. I think they're just using the rollout tagline to make it work. But at the end of the day, it's another collaboration and it's another brand that is talking about Transformers, which is obviously all good. This is something that's really interesting, but we've not seen any actual Hasbro uh, pictures yet. So what this is, and I didn't really show it in detail there is, sorry, yeah, Hasbro Transformer pictures, sorry. We've seen Hasbro pictures, but not Transformer ones. So it looks like we're going back to the window boxes, guys, with the plastic in there as well. Let me just read you this. This is across all the forums. This is actual news. This isn't, you know, something that's going to be, you know, take it with a pinch of salt. This is actual news. So Hasbro have sent through word on packaging updates for their collector brands rolling out this fall. This will affect Transformers as well. So basically what it's saying, the Transformers will join the mix and having larger display area with plastic covering the figures again soon instead of open boxes. No examples for Transformers were present, but recent releases for Marvel, Star Wars and G.I. Joe were given as examples. So basically back to what we used to have. And I think um, a lot of people will be pleased with that um, because, again, you get to see the figure, you get to see exactly what you want. And I think more so for them, it stops people doing silly things like stealing parts off them, which obviously doesn't help because they've got to send new figures or just parts out, which really doesn't help. Right, this is from TFW 2005, but it is a third party company. So this is DX9, this is their take on Prowl. It says it's a masterpiece scale. Uh, it does say masterpiece, but for me it does well. I don't know, it says, Masterpiece, it's going to be 16.7 centimetres in um, robot and 15 centimetres in alt. So I suppose that is a masterpiece, not 
uh, legend scale because DX9 obviously have done a few legend scales. So this is Prowl. This is the test piece. I just think it looks a bit basic for Masterpiece. I mean, forgive me if I'm wrong. I don't know too much about this particular company. Um, I think especially in this particular mode, the uh, the alt mode, it looks really basic. Uh, when we've got to see the images in a second in robot mode, I think perhaps it looks a little bit more masterpiece with the fact you've got screws there, etc. Um, but I was quite surprised when I read that this was in fact masterpiece ver uh, scale. But there he is anyway, he's available on Show Z as well to pre-order uh, as we speak and I'll show you that in a second. Right, last couple of things on the news. This, funnily enough, is takes take it with a grain of salt. This is potentially the new Hot Wheels crossover collaboration Bumblebee figures. So I, again, I've got this from TFW 2005. It is not confirmed, but it does very much look like it could be believable. Right. Um, and of course, as I said, I've already mentioned that Wheeljack has gone up for pre-order today with the rest of the figures. And I just thought I'd whet your appetites again with a few more images because we've got actual promotional images now, not ones of things on people's beds, um, ones where people shouldn't actually have them. These, There's loads more online. I just want to share a few with you. I can't wait personally to review this figure and to see it in hand. He does look really chunky, uh, but yeah, it, it's going to be a great addition, I think, to anybody's collection. Right. Then something interesting. This looks like Magic Square Toys. I've been on their Weibo page. Are going to either be doing both, or forgive me if I'm wrong, because I don't know much about Magic Square, only what I've been doing for the last year, because it could be a really old model. It looks like we're getting both Jinrai and Power Master Prime, or we're getting God Jinrai and Super Jinrai. Uh, I obviously can't read uh, the uh, Chinese that it's written in. And um, these look great, to be fair. As I say, Magic Square do do some good figures. Uh, but it's interesting that they're showing these off. So, of course, if Jinrai is from the Japanese continuity, uh, that's God Jinrai with God Bomber attached. What's interesting, though, you'll see in a second, is the alternate mode is just like a normal Ultra Magnus trailer. So I don't really know exactly what's going on. I've just found these images on their Weibo page and I'm sharing them with you. So you'll see what I mean there. It looks a bit like a Magnus trailer with the guns and the wings attached. But until we see more of that officially revealed, of course, I can't let you know, sorry. Right, pre-orders on Show Z then, guys. Don't forget to use my code. There is uh, loads going on there. So we've got the Dr. Wu. There's the DX9 Prowl I was on about. We've got trans art figures. We've got the Potts spot figure I mentioned the other week. We've got the Kang Toys take on the Dinobots. New Age is Hoist. We have actually got MP Hoist here as well as the Missing Links and other official Takara Termi Masterpiece figures. Again, combined with a bunch of third party figures and display ideas. So loads going on there, which is great. With regards to the channel, Grand Maximus seems to have gone down quite well. I'm really pleased with that because it took ages and I really wanted to do a good job of it. Uh, there's three more comics left for the entirety of G1. I've got them ready and queued up. And then a little bonus surprise at the end of that before we move on to G2 and other things. Lunar Convoy is going to be finished when I get in later on. Um, and again, the I keep saying animated, but it's not the animated. It is the toy accurate version of Missing Link with the trailer, full comparisons and full video of that coming up very, very soon, as well as the A to Z and everything else that's going to happen over the weekend. Thanks very much for the support, guys. Take care.